Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you guys here. In today's video we are going to talk about another fragrance from the Latafa Pride series. This time we are going to talk about Eternal Wood. Now the packaging of it is quite simplistic. Here is how the actual travel spray looks like. Uh, you have some stickers here and there but yeah I mean it, it's not the most luxurious travel spray doesn't give you the a luxurious experience let's say it doesn't uh, give you like a beautiful presentation or anything but it's good and it's basic you know and it's working so i feel like that's the point of it now guys when it comes to eternal wood again i got quite a few questions if i could share my thoughts about it so i'm here today to let you know what i think about the fragrance if i overall enjoy it and um if i overall think it is worth it or not before i actually start if you have tried eternal wood please share your thoughts about the fragrance down below guys uh, i would love to know it and not only that but i'm sure all the people who are interested in trying out this fragrance could use uh, your feedback as well. This fragrance, guys, let me just tell you, the first time I smelled it, like, it had a wow effect on me. It's, it's the kind of fragrance that, like, leaves the mark. It leaves, it's a statement fragrance. It's a very powerful, bold and, like, strong type of fragrance. Yeah, it's very beautiful, guys. Now, to me, this is all about resin. This is all about balsamic accords. This is a gorgeous amber-based fragrance. This is supposed to be an inspiration of Grand Soir uh, by Maison Francis Courjean, which I have smelled, and it definitely does give me a similar feel. Now, I don't have the fragrance in my collection to tell you how similar are they, but um, I will share my thoughts about this one on its own. Okay, so this one in the opening, guys. The opening is very luxurious. It's very, like, opulent. It's very royal-like. Uh, in the opening, I can smell a lot Lot of beautiful rich resinous balsamic accords you have here a gorgeous amber accord with a little bit of a lavender kick but I would say the lavender is in the background so it's not like fully aromatic but you also get like a hint of a lavender smell there and some spices this is very warm guys um, I feel like the best way to describe this fragrance imagine you take all sorts of uh, resins like you take myrrh you take olibanum you take and balsams like you take a little bit of labdanum there you put them in a pot and it's almost like you melt them under the sun because it has this solar warm quality about it when i smell this fragrance it's almost like it like um what is the word in english like exudes heat from it i hope i'm making sense yeah some slight powdery nuances in the background okay so i really do enjoy this fragrance i feel like it's an amazing fragrance it can have a slight churchy like feel to it but i don't think like if you were to wear this fragrance i don't think people would associated with a church or anything i think this is a beautiful bold strong unapologetic type of fragrance for a very confident person man or woman now something else i wanted to touch upon uh when i smell it besides the warm solar quality of all the resinous balsamic accords there i do get something fresh um i know this has listed grapefruit but to my nose it's not really citrusy and bitter it's more like imagine like the whiff you get from a a shower gel for men like a little bit it has a bit of that feel to it as well but again i would say it's behind all the resinous balsamic accords so yes now to me this is a true amber accord it's not one of these like modern amber fragrances which is like overly round overly warm overly sweet uh and very mainstream i feel like this is more of a bolder fragrance you need to appreciate ambery accord i mean you need to appreciate resins and balsams in your fragrances if you're one who loves the smell of myrrh of frankincense of olibanum of all these kinds of resins like if you're to imagine that you take a, a variety of them like a bit of everything you put them in a pot like you're somewhere in the desert and you let them melt under the sun like if you could imagine this is how they would smell so you get the resinous amber quality but it's very warm like i've mentioned it has this beautiful solar quality about it uh like this like warming up sensation you have the slight aromatic touch from the lavender but again it's in the background i'm not the biggest fan of lavender um i cannot really i mean lavender is not my thing guys i don't like to wear fragrances with lavender i associate them with more with masculine fragrances but i would say the lavender used here is just it's not too much to make the fragrance smell too masculine leaning it's round it's warm it's very full it's very dense it's very rich i feel like this is a very robust overall fragrance um it's the kind of fragrance that uh if you are not really confident when you wear this fragrance it's the kind of fragrance that it can wear you instead of you wearing the fragrance you know what i mean i could definitely see this fragrance as someone's signature scent for sure now if you're a woman keep in mind the slight lavender hint and keep in mind that like soft but like the softest muted fresh shower gel type of feel in the background it's as this one stays on your skin it loses that 
dense, sticky, gooey sort of resinous feel that you had in the opening. Um, I would say it goes like a little bit incensey. So I feel like at this stage, some people might be reminded of church when they smell this fragrance. But guys, I love fragrances that smell like church. I mean, I don't know, I love incense in fragrances. I love resins in fragrances. So if you are not very sensitive to those, I feel like you would really enjoy this fragrance. And also the more it stays on the skin, it starts to get slightly drier. You start to get this like synthetic dry woody accord amongst or among or amongst. I am not really exactly sure what's the appropriate term in English, but between all the other nuances, you start to get this like dry woody accord with the ambery as well. But like I've mentioned, it's, it's still warm. It still has a solar quality about it. But I would say now it's less sticky, resiny, gooey, you know? Um, so yes. Now, those were my thoughts about how this fragrance smells. Now, when it comes to genders, I feel like, um, I mean, I'm tempted to say this is a unisex fragrance. I feel like women, who enjoy this kind of fragrances, like if you enjoy Marzal Sultan, if you enjoy uh, Rahba Wood Intense, if you enjoy, um, what else, let me think, Grand Soir by MFK, of course, if you enjoy that one. If you enjoy this like richer, bolder and more true to themselves amber based fragrances, you would really enjoy this fragrance. However, keep in mind, because of the slight lavender feel here and because of the slight fresh shower gel type of feel, it might lean a little bit more on the masculine side. I feel like if I were to wear this fragrance, I would definitely layer it with something. Now guys, this fragrance, in my opinion, this is a showstopper. Like if I would smell this fragrance on a man, like if a man were to walk past me and he would smell like this, I would give him like a mental compliment for the fragrance, you know, because it really smells so beautiful, so luxurious, so bold, so opulent and so, so powerful in a way. I really think you need to have the personality to pull this fragrance off and the taste, of course. Yeah, it's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. I have to say, I really like it. I think Latafa did an amazing job with this fragrance. This is definitely one of the most bold fragrances from the Eternal Oats from the Eternal Oud, from the Latafa Pride series. Uh, so yes, if you were to ask me if I think Eternal Oud is worth it, I would say yes, in my opinion, it is. When it comes to genders um, and age and everything, I feel like this one on its own, it's more of a mature kind of fragrance. Um, I do think you need the age, let's say, or you need the taste for this type of fragrance because I feel like when it comes to these fragrances, usually you have a taste for these types of fragrances like later in life, I feel like, uh, or you could just enjoy resinous balsamic fragrances and then this is the kind of fragrance that you would rock it no matter your age. But I feel like, again, you need the attitude, you need the outfit. This is a very elegant fragrance. It's not the kind of fragrance that you would wear with like uh, sportswear. It's not the kind of fragrance that you wear, I don't know, with like a wrinkly t-shirt and a pair of jeans and sneakers, you know, this is the kind of fragrance that screams elegance, screams like manners in a way, so you need a proper outfit for the fragrance. In my opinion, of course, you do whatever floats your boat, okay? I am just telling you how I picture this fragrance. Um, okay, so when it comes to seasons, I feel like the majority of people would say this is more of a colder month type of fragrance, or like a fragrance for a colder month. But I still feel like you could wear it in the higher heat as well. Uh, of course, mind the number of sprays. Maybe I feel like if you're a man and you want to wear this one in high heat, play a little bit with the fresh accord that's already here in the fragrance. Maybe get some citruses and layer it on top of that so you bring the freshness out even more. I feel like that combo will be amazing for summer. Just like apply some citrusy based fragrances to like amplify the freshness of the fragrance. I feel like it would add a very beautiful kick to the scent in the summertime. Now you could apply it on your skin, like you could apply eternal wood as a base, then come up with some citrusy fragrances as a topper, or you could apply them on different parts of the body. Let's say maybe you apply eternal wood, like few sprays of eternal wood on your skin, maybe one on your chest before you get dressed. And then you would come up with some citrusy, fresh fragrances and you could apply them on your clothes you know this is another way to layer your fragrances and it would just smell amazing guys like i can already imagine like this one on a man in the summertime layered with a citrusy fragrance like 10 out of 10. now if you're a woman and you are interested in trying out some layering combos i feel like this would work really great with some vanilla based fragrances but not the cupcakey sort of vanillas because 
like I've said, this on its own, it's quite a serious, bold, mature fragrance. So I feel like it needs more of a mature vanilla as well. I would layer it with something like Motar Daha, either the version for men or the version for women by Junaid Perfumes. I have also tried and layered it and it smelled amazing, guys. I've tried to layer it with Hamra by Latafa. Amazing combo. They melt into another. So if you have Hamra, definitely layer this too. Another combo that I did and I loved it guys, like I loved it again, it was almost like those two melted into one another, is with Amber Oud Tobacco Edition by Al Haramein. So if you have that fragrance in your collection as well and you have Eternal Oud, try to layer those two. Now I would say that combo is more for colder times because Al Haramein Amber Oud Tobacco on its own, it's quite a spicy, sweet, rich, very warm fragrance, very strong as well. And this one on its own, it's another resiny, balsamic, solar fragrance, you know, very strong and very rich as well. So I feel like those two together will shine better in the colder temp, in the colder months for sure. Um, in the summertime, even though you might really be into these kinds of heavy fragrances, I feel like when it's very when the temperatures are very high, when it's very like uh, warm and hot outside and you wear two fragrances that both have this like warming up sensation to them, I feel like it might be too much, a little bit too much and a little bit too suffocating, but it, I feel like it's up to you to test it, you know, so yes. Uh, okay, so when it comes to the performance, this fragrance performs. Um, I would say on my skin it lasted more than seven hours, but um, I have tried this fragrance as well on my partner because I wanted to see how it smells on the man and it smells absolutely incredible, like absolutely incredible. This is the kind of fragrance, I know I'm getting like sidetracked, uh, but I feel like I have so many things to say about this fragrance and I really like this fragrance, so it's like I try to say one thing then I go in a different direction. So yes, back to this. If you're a man, in my opinion, this is the kind of fragrance that, let's just say, if you decide to wear it for the day, you need to make a commitment to it because the, for the whole duration of the day, you will smell it and people around you will smell it on you. Uh, this is not the kind of fragrance uh, that you wear now and then in like three to four hours, you could apply other fragrances. No, this is the kind of fragrance that sticks to your skin, especially if you're a man and you have like hair on your chest, on your arms, wherever you spray your fragrances, it will stick to the hair and it will last very well. The longevity on clothes, it lasts for days, the longevity in your hair. Now I have not tried it in my hair because it's not the kind of scent profile that I would like to put in my hair. Uh, but I have tried it on my partner and it lasts for days, guys. It lasts like more than 24 hours when you spray it in your hair as a man. So yes, no, this on its own, it's a very strong fragrance. It's not as strong as, for instance, red tobacco from Mancera or Blackwood from Montal or um, what other fragrances that like Black Orchid by Tom Ford, like the previous versions. It's not that level of strength, but this on its own is definitely a strong fragrance. And I feel like for the price you pay, Guys, this performs really good. This smells amazing. It doesn't smell weird. It doesn't smell off. It doesn't smell cheap. But again, keep in mind, it's a mature fragrance. Please don't blind buy this fragrance. It's definitely not blind buy safe. I feel like it's either a love or hate, depending on your taste in fragrances. Now, if you're a woman and you're watching this, I feel like if you enjoy Majdal Sultan, it's worth checking it out. But keep in mind that this one, I find it a bit more mature than Marjdal Sultan and I find it a bit more masculine compared to Marjdal Sultan. But again, these are just my thoughts, you know. So yes, guys, this is everything I wanted to tell you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, if you have this fragrance in your collection, please let me know what you think about it. Uh, I see now why this fragrance is so popular because it's definitely a very affordable fragrance that smells much more expensive than its price. I think Latafa overall did an amazing job with the fragrance. And with the Pride fragrances or like the fragrances from the Pride series in general, uh, so far from what I have been testing, I'm really impressed by them. This is everything I wanted to tell you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you want to tell me anything, please put it down below and I promise that I will get back to you. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram. Here is my handle. And yes, guys, thank you so much for watching and I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye.